Oh, Go see it. Let it be some uh, trickster whim. Who is this? Oh, gosh, you know what? Let me level up Morgan first. Uh, you need some constitution, girl. But let's give you some magic and willpower. Give me some more willpower. Let's see what else. Um, you're a shapeshifter. I usually don't use these. Um, let's give you some healing because you actually could use a healing spell. Um, yeah, let's put that over here. So I don't always want to bring win, but we definitely need a, a mage with additional healing. Okay, you. I'll get on it. Look like you've uh, made a mess over here, uh, sir. Oh, okay. Too slow. Oh, oh, got it. Okay. Um. Let's see. What do we have? Let's kill the mage first. So attack. Um. Okay. Well, who's who? Oh, well, let's kill him first. So Alistair, attack and. Augie, you can attack. I see you can get off my back. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, close. Oh, oh, this should be good. I hope I don't get blood all over me again. Oh, so that wasn't Let's him. Let's make this quick time for a little bloodletting, I see. Oh, I'll get you a ladder so you can get off my back. Okay. Oh. Okay, I need you to heal, Alistair. Morgan, Zevran, do you have, um, actually put the mark of death on dude. Can we, okay. Um, okay. Oh, shoot. Alistair, drink. Um, I have no mana pots. Beautiful. Hurry. Uh, yeah. Oh, as in, uh, as in now. Stop. Oh. I'll get on. Mm. Can I get you? Oh. So you can get away. Alistair, drink. My Come back. out. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. I keep wanting to pick up stuff. What do you have, sir? Ooh. Magus war boots. <clears throat> we'll take that and your gold. All right, all right. And your deep mushroom. Um, yeah. So that was it. Nothing else. Nope. Can we go this way? Yep. Off to dinner we go. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll try to tackle Alistair's quest first. And then we'll head over to our main quest, which is, well, which is, yeah, talk to Brother Genitivi. What the? Okay. Let's see. Welcome to Dinnerum. Doesn't look like much, does it? All men are the work of our maker's hand, from the lowest slaves to the highest kings. Those who bring ham without provocation to the least of his children are breaded and accursed by the Maker. Those who bring ham? And the Maker does not bread sinners. Uh, would you stop correcting me? I know the chant like the back of my hand. She's hungry. I, I mean, I can relate. I'm starving. The one who repents, who has faith unshaken by the darkness of the world and roasts not nor gloats over the misfortunes of the weak, but takes delight in the Maker's law and creations. Boasts. It's boasts, sister, not roasts. She shall know the peas of the Maker's benediction. The light shall lead her safely through the paths of this world and into the next. Peace, sister, peace. She shall know the peace of the Maker's benediction. The veal holds no uncertainty for her. 
and she will know no fear of death, for the maker shall be her bacon and her shield, her foundation and her... There's no veal in the chant. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? I mean, she's got a whole meal. Peas, ham, bread, veal, bacon. <laughs> uh, I like her version. <laughs> <laughs> me too. I wonder why nobody ever taught me her version of the chant when I was a Templar. Right? Oh. Hello, dear. Can we help you? If you're feeding um, us, yes. What she means is, in Andraste's name, be welcome. Stop correcting me! What would Andraste do? That's what you should be concerned with, I say. Andraste was no fuss budget. Oh, wow. Uh, can you tell me about the chant? Tell you about the chant? What? As if it's a cake you might buy? Well, it's done enough, but a little too much nutmeg for my taste. Sister, instructing the ignorant is a sacred duty of the chantry. Fine, then. What do you want to know? I like her. Uh, what does the chant say about the darkspawn? Oh, there are some very stirring canticles about doom and wrath. Darkspawn were created by mankind's second sin, pride. Arrogance became a great caged beast in the lands of Tevinter, an emptiness that consumed all and could never be filled. To satisfy its hunger, the mage lords assaulted the golden city, heart of all creation, to take the maker's power for themselves. Why does no one ever sing the good stanzas during chantry services anymore? They speak them. It's called the chant of light, not the speech of light. Sister, would you kindly stop messing up the chant? See how you like being interrupted. <laughs> well, you get the general idea, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. What was that verse you were reciting just now? It's the tenth stanza from the Transfigurations. Lovely canticle, that one. Oh, you should have heard Brother Cademan sing it, though. Ah, uh, he sang it well, I take it. He had a voice like a bucket full of toads. <laughs> Revered Mother Boan, bless her heart, always said, if we had more voices like his, the maker couldn't fail to take note of us. What happened to him? It was tragic, really. Such a surprise. Ooh. We don't speak of that. Oh, okay. Uh, did he die? He was in charge of the Lyrium storehouse. Oh. It wasn't good for him you see he took off all his clothes in the middle of the park <laughs> one summer day and ran into the street he tripped and fell into the vat of elderberry wine oh. on the feast and drowned we were six days drying him out for his cremation <laughs> he looked like a pickled egg so tragic i should have been laughing at that but it's hilarious okay never mind i'll be going now it is almost meal time isn't it um, uh, blessings of the maker and of Andraste, his bride, upon you. Well, she was talking about bacon and ham and stuff. I mean, she, she's more than likely hungry. Uh, let's check this chanter's board. Okay, we're just going to grab all of these because they're here. Uh, let's talk to Chanter Rosamund. Those stung with a hundred arrows, those suffering from ailments both great and small, his heart was strong. And he moved on. Magic exists to serve man and never Okay. Um, can we talk to these guys? In the name of Andraste, bride of the maker, be welcome in this house. Thank you. While the cathedral is closed, if you need to make wedding or funeral arrangements, you'll have to talk to Sister Oma. I need neither. Did someone die? I remember a funeral. King Kaelin died, remember? Along with most of the army at Ostagar? Make a guide them all. Uh, why is the cathedral closed? That which you fear. Living in the shadow of death alone. I have seen it is only a cloud passing before the sun. The death toll at Ostagar was staggering. We've had a funeral every day for a lost son or daughter of Denerim. And we've many more yet to hold. Oh, uh... Well, uh... What's wrong with your friend? Are they singing the chant now? It's a funeral, isn't it? He should have retired to Valroyo years ago, but he wanted to stay and serve the remainder of his days in his homeland. 
It's the lyrium that does this. Lyrium did this to him? Why doesn't he stop taking it? He wouldn't be a Templar anymore. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked and do not falter. He doesn't forget who he is, even if he can't remember anything else. I'll come back later. May the light of the Maker guide your steps. They shall be named Maleficar, a curse of oh, Okay, can we talk to Sister no Justine? Strange that matters can be so tumultuous and yet the day still be so bright. Oh, my pardon. Just thinking aloud. Are you here for the Chanter's board? Uh, who are you? I am Sister Justine, curator of the reliquary of this chantry. <laughs> and pride again. It is hard to live up to the example of Andraste. What does a curator do? The archivist tends the books, and I tend the sacred relics. I also search for more to add to our collection, which is more difficult than it sounds. Um... There are still relics to be found after all these years? My thought exactly, but I'm perpetually amazed at how quickly people accept fantastic claims at face value. Well, I guess a hawker on the street will claim to have an actual finger bone of Andraste. In this city alone, you could make the skeleton of ten prophets from fingers alone. Hmm. Curators often accept them as genuine. I worry about the authenticity of even our most holy artifacts. How difficult is it to verify a relic? When I was a curator of a much smaller chantry in Orlais, I thought that false relics slipped through because of laziness. But the life of the cloth is never an easy one, and that explanation always seemed hollow to me. Now I believe it's the seduction of the divine. We all want a personal connection to the Maker. We want to believe that what we hold in our hands is the actual sandal that slipped from Andraste's foot before the fires consumed her. Faith is of the heart, not of the head. When the heart is ungoverned by reason, charlatans have powerful tools to deceive. Balancing faith and reason is difficult, though. And often close to heretical. But I believe that the truth only increases the awe of the Maker and his prophet, not demean it. Even false symbols have the power to inspire. But it seems every year we fall more out of touch with the real Andraste. Uh, do you think the urn of sacred ashes is real? Certainly. My research indicates that all of the ashes were gathered into a pot or urn, but it's been lost for centuries. That doesn't stop hawkers from selling pinches of the ashes of Andraste to gullible pilgrims. The real ashes may still be hidden somewhere, though it's possible the urn broke. Uh, okay, well, I've got to go. Farewell. Of course. Enjoy your visit to the Chantry. To that bar. As they oh, wait, where are you going? Okay, Argie. Puppy! You can't keep him. Where did you, where did you get that? Where are your mother and father? <laughs> Puppy! Do you speak English? <laughs> um, let's see. If he comes with us, he's going to have to fight Darkspawn. I know he's too young. That's my point. What? No mention of dessert? Surely this is a miracle. All right. All men are the work of our maker's hand. All right, From let's see. Um, there's some... Oh. That's my sister's house. I'm almost sure of it. This is... Yes, this is the right address. She could be inside. Could we go and see? Okay, um, sure, let's do it. Will she even know who I am? Does she even know I exist? My sister. That sounds very strange. Sister. Sister. <laughs> hmm. Oh, now I'm babbling. Maybe we should go. Let's go. Let, let's just go. Okay, you're nervous. I understand. Let's go. Uh, hello? Hello? Hey, you have linens to wash? I charge three bits on a bundle. You won't find better. And don't trust what that Natalia woman tells you either. She's foreign and she'll rob you blind. I'm not here to have any wash done. <laughs> uh, my name's Alistair. I'm... Well, this may sound sort of strange, but... Are you called Dana? If so, I suppose I'm your brother. My what? 
I am Goldanna, yes. How do you know my name? What kind of tomfoolery are you folk up to? No tomfoolery. He's telling the truth. Uh, he's telling the truth. Listen to him. Look, our mother, she worked as a servant in Redcliffe Castle a long time ago before she died. D do you know about that? She... You! I knew it! They told me you was dead. They told me the babe was dead along with mother, but I knew they was lying. They told you I was dead? Who? Who told you that? Them's at the castle. I told them the babe was the king's and they said he was dead. Gave me a coin to shut my mouth and sent me on my way. I knew it. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. The babe didn't die. I'm him. I'm your brother. <sighs> For all the good it does me. You killed mother, you did. And I've had to scrape by all this time. That coin didn't last long, and when I went back, they ran me off. Wow. Uh, that's hardly Alistair's fault, is it? And who in the maker's name are you? Some tart, following after his riches, I expect. Really? Hey, don't speak to her that way. She's my friend and a Grey Warden, just like me. Oh, I see. A prince and a Grey Warden, too. Well, who am I to think poorly of someone so high and mighty compared to me? I don't know you, boy. Your royal father forced himself on my mother and took her away from me. And what do I got to show for it? Nothing. They tricked me good. I should have told everyone. I got five mouths to feed. And unless you can help with that, I got less than no use for you. I... I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Those five mouths are not your responsibility. She decided to have those five kids by herself. <sighs> okay. Rewind, Alistair. You know what? Maybe this isn't a good idea. Um, Goldana. Alistair came here hoping to find his family. Well, he found it. And what good is that to me? None, that's what. Unless he can see to it that his family lives as it should. I suppose maybe I could give her some money for my nieces and nephews. Fifteen sovereigns, maybe? Would you let me give her that? I, I don't even think we have fifteen sovereigns. Uh, jeez, yes. Then here, Goldana, take this money. I know it's not much, but... You, a prince... Marching in here with your fancy armor and such, and this is all you got to offer? You must think I'm very stupid. You're ungrateful, no, that's wait, for sure. I, I don't think that at all. I, I want to help, if I can. You want to help? You go to whatever high and mighty folks you run with, and you tell them you've got nephews and nieces that aren't living as they've a right to. You do that. <sighs> oh, wow. Uh, it looks like all she wants is your money. Yes, it really seems that way, doesn't it? I wasn't expecting my sister to be so... I'm starting to wonder why I came. I don't know why you came either, or what you expected to find. But it isn't here. Now get out of my house, the both of you. <laughs> uh, yeah, this was a bad idea. Let's leave. Let's just leave. I agree. Let's get out of here. <laughs> wow. Well... That was not what I expected, to put it lightly. Yeah. I'm sorry I gave her any money at all. This is the family I've been wondering about all my life? That gold-digging Harridan? I can't believe it. I... I guess I was expecting her to accept me without question. Isn't that what family is supposed to do? Hmm, yeah. I... I feel like a complete idiot. Don't. You're not an idiot. I mean... You thought, you thought she was blood and you didn't expect that. I mean, anybody, no one would expect that. I wouldn't. Um, huh. You don't need her. You have others who care for you. Such as? The only person who ever cared about me was Duncan. And he's gone. I mean, I... I care about you. Yes. I'm sorry, too. I guess I should have known better. Let's just go. I don't want to talk about this anymore. 
Okay, well, we lost 15 gold. I'm pretty sure we're broke now. I'm okay. We are fairly They broke. say you can get anything here. I once got pickpocketed. Mm -hmm. Well, we might need to resort to pickpocketing because we're broke. Let's pick up this quest over here. Sergeant Kylan. You here to report another crime? I swear we should just cordon off the entire district. Oh, uh, can I help you, Warden? Yeah, we'd like to make some money. Um, is the market district really that bad? The lower market isn't deemed important by the captain of the guard, even less with Al Howe in charge. So when I finally get the new men I request, I get the delightful surprise of discovering their Lord such and such as illegitimate, untrained, moronic whelps. But lords keep sending me more of them. It's decent pay, no expectations, a uniform. So I have a legion of bastards to protect the market from pickpockets, stabbings, and whatnot. And all how especially picked men are the worst of the lot. Wow. Well, the Arl and I have a rich history. Tell me about his men. With the bastards, I just have to worry about dicing the odd bit of drool or yelling at them too loudly and hurting their poor feelings and then getting chewed out by their noble fathers. But I swear, the Arl's men are more criminal than the miscreants we occasionally arrest. Some of them are the criminals we have to arrest. So if your lifeblood isn't draining in the gutters as we speak, don't bother reporting it. Uh... Actually, do you need any help? <laughs> what? You're serious? I mean, yes, yes, I could use help. I've got a pretty popular uh, establishment that's crawling with mercenaries. If I send my boys in, someone might get, make a forbid, hurt, and I'll have to explain to their noble fathers that being a guard is actually dangerous. What do you need me to do? The name of the whorehouse <clears> is <throat> the Pearl. Oh. Beat down any mercenaries that are out of line and send them a message. I said beat down, not kill. Let me make that really clear. Not on fire, or exploded, or make a nose, whatever type of grisly death you can dream up. Sorry. Used to giving orders to my boys. Just leave them breathing and I'll be happy. I was going to say, you must know me well. Uh, sign me up, Sergeant. Thank you, Warden. Happy hunting. Thank you. We're not going to do that quest right now, though. We are... Uh, oh, what is this? We are uh, off to see Brother Jinnah TV. So... What is this? Wade Collective? What is this? Wade's Emporium. Oh! Glitchy! Can we walk out and walk back in? Good night. Let's try that again. Ah, uh, well. It's really not that much better, but oh, whatever. Uh, Heron? Hey, Welcome, friends. Welcome to Wade's Emporium. We have the finest armors in Denerim, maybe in all of Ferelden. How may we assist you? Oh, well, first of all, um... Well, we're not going to talk about the glitch behind you. Uh, tell me about Wade. You're obviously not from around here. Wade is possibly the most brilliant armorsmith in all of Ferelden. Mm. That's not true, Heren. The dwarves of Orzammar make the finest armors around. These piles of rust droppings you force me to make are worthless compared to their work. You never let me have the time, the materials to make something special. Customers expect their armor in a timely fashion, not years late like the last time. That happened once, just once, and you never let it drop. Oof, look at those pixelated uh, flames right there. Wade is a whiner. Uh, well, who's in charge here? This I Wade. am. Wade owns the Emporium, but without expert assistance and, well, prodding, let's just say the Emporium has improved substantially with our partnership. But I do miss the good old days. I could really take my time to make quality. Oh, by all means, you can return to them. And to the gruel you used to fancy. No, no. Sorry, Hirin. Okay, well, let's just see what you have for sale. Certainly. I don't have any money, but, um, you know, we're going to look anyways. Yeah. Thanks. We're just going to head on out. Well, can we talk to Wade? Wait, can we talk to you? Karen, the bloody customers are bothering me again. What do I pay you for, anyhow? Sorry, sorry. Wade is a genius. Truly, you will be astonished by his work. 
Uh, but he doesn't deal with customers. If you need anything, please ask me. Okay. And tell her I don't want her looking over my shoulders making doe eyes at me either. I'm thinking, blast it all. I'm uh, standing right here. Truly really sorry, sire. Jeez, what do you have here? Love letter. Uh, let's get out of this glitchy, glitchy store. Goodness. I wonder if it's a mod that I have. I don't really have a lot of mods um, loaded in, so I don't know. Uh, ew. Everything's glitchy. Look at that. All the meshes are wrong. Um, let me... Let me stop and reload this. I'll be right back. Looks like we got that taken care of. Nothing a little reloading won't fix. All right, what's in these chests here? Studded armor. What about this? Oh, I need a key. Do I need a key for this too? Got it. Okay. Dwarven crafts. Fine dwarven crafts. Direct oh. from Orzammar. Let's talk to you. You won't find better. Sure. Welcome. Welcome. We sell only the strongest dwarven steel, folded over a hundred times in the forges of Orzammar. In times like this, surely your group could use some extra protection on the road. Um, I'd rather buy some information if you got any to sell. I'll answer what I can, but my policy is not to sell things that don't belong to me. Oh, okay. Um, who are some important people in Denerim? It's the capital of Ferelden. So naturally, the queen and regent are at the top. But the man who seems to be running the city guard is the new Arl Rendon Howe. Came in from somewhere up north. Yeah, I know that jack butt. Um, but the, let's see. What's happening in the city right now? The lands meet's the big news. Every dusty noble estate in Denerim is airing its sheets, waiting for the lord to ride into town. Hmm. Who are some? Ah, uh, we already asked that. All right, let me see what's in your store. Every piece comes with a stamp of assurance from my wife's father, the best smith in Denerim. I'm sure I can't afford anything. Ooh, Gorham Shield. I mean, is it better than what Alistair has? No, actually, it's not. Okay, well, what do you got here? Uh. It is better, but he doesn't have... Those are nice. I mean, it's not worth it, so what about these? Alright, well, none of this is actually worth the gold, so... Alright. Oh. I recognize you. No, you don't. From Ostagar. Mm -mm. And trust his blood. You're a Grey Warden. No, I'm not. Duncan's apprentice. You killed my friend. And good King Caelan. You I killed my father. Prepare to die. Uh, me, Great Warden. You must be mistaken. Pardon me, sir. You must think I'm a fool. You really do look like uh, too much ale. Yes, uh, too much. Uh, no, excuse no me. Sure, not at all. You're good. All right. Where are we supposed to be going? What is this? This is the Noble Tavern, Genetivi's house. Anything else over here? Okay, let's talk to your Brother Genetifi. Finally. Nice place, nice digs. Well, hello, Waylon. Yes, what are you doing here? I came to see Brother Genetivi. Brother Genetivi? Why? Uh. Um, hmm. I'd like to speak to him about his research. His research? Ah, oh, you mean his search for Andraste's ashes? He was on the trail of the urn of sacred ashes, yes. Whether he found it, the maker only knows. I haven't seen Brother Genetivi in weeks. He said no word. It's so unlike him. I'm afraid something has happened. Genetivi's research into the urn may have led him into danger. Oh, gosh, I could just pluck your eyebrows. Um, do you think he's in trouble? Perhaps the urn has been lost for a reason. I pray for Genetivi's safety, but hope dwindles with each passing day. I, I tried to send help, but some knights came from Redcliffe looking for him not long ago. I sent them after Genetivi, and they too have disappeared. 
Okay. Well, where did you send them? Now, don't ask me where they went. You'll go after them. And what if ill luck should befall you too? This search is a curse on all of us. Some things are, are not meant to be found. I know that now. Okay, well, I'm willing to risk it. Tell me where he went. <sighs> so be it. All he said before he left was that he would be staying at an inn near Lake Callenhard, investigating something in that area. What exactly was he investigating? I don't know. All I discovered from going through his research was that he was staying at the inn. Okay, but you just... Right, you just said that he spoke y to... Yes, of course he told me, but I also went through his things to see if I could find other clues to his whereabouts. You're a terrible liar. Um... You sound nervous. Hiding something? That's n not true. I told you everything I know. Brother Ginny TV told us, t told me about the inn and that's all. Told us? Us? Who is us? Us? I mean me. There is no us. You have a mouse in your pocket? Bah! Why do I keep up this charade? I gave you a chance to turn aside and forget you ever heard of Ginny TV and the urn. But you persisted. Now it has come to this. And just they forgive me, I do this in your name. Um, right. <coughs> Okay. Can you heal? <laughs> Yikes. Do a ladder so you can get off what? my back. <laughs> Welcome back. We just uh, came back from a series of crashes. I don't know what's going on with the game, but I went back to see if it was a couple mods maybe that I in had installed. And I had installed a couple that I really wasn't using. And uh, we'll see if that helped. Uh, so we are here again with Waylon, and he's all nervous and things, talking about Jenna TV. Hopefully, we'll get past this uh, particular quest line without a glitch. All right. Us? Who's us? Us? I mean me. <coughs> there is no us. Bah! Why do I keep up this charade? I gave you a chance to turn aside and forget you ever heard of Jenna TV and the urn. But you persisted. Yes, I did. Now it has come to this. And just they forgive me, I do this in your name. All right. Let me, uh, kick you Something before you... No, oh, no. Oh. This game. That didn't help. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. All right. Oh. All right. Oh, that was quick. He died really fast. Okay. Super fast. All right, everything looks good. Um, let's look at this book. Okay. Uh, did, oh, okay. Got it. All right, another book in here. Can I grab Dragon Cults? What else? These must be Jenna TV's research. Um, go through here. Another book. Chantry Hierarchy in the Chiste. Ooh, Symbol of Andraste. Uh, Jenna TV's research. Awesome. Quest updated. Brother Jenna TV's research suggests that the village of Haven in the mountains to the west might have some clues as to the location of the urn. Brother Jenna TV must have gone to Haven to continue his search. Then we must go to Haven. Oh, and there is a, a corpse. The real body of Waylon. Then who, honestly, I don't know who the heck. I still wouldn't know. Still haven't discovered who this guy is. But he's, might be some kind of demon. He did say us. I don't know. All right, so we're off to see the wizard in Haven. Um, I think we're just going to go ahead and leave dinner room. I'm not going to try to um, do any quests here. Dwarven crafts. For later. Find dwarven crafts. Direct from Ors and so we will head out to Haven. Got it. Got it. What? Whatever. 
Okay. So we'll go find Jenna TV and we'll head to Haven. Now is better than later. I think we're going to go ahead and end, the, end it here. And, and the next time we are, well, the next time we're back, we'll go ahead and search for Brother Jenna TV in Haven and for the Urn of Sacred Ashes so we can heal um, Arl Eamon. But thank you for joining me today on this episode of Dragon Age Origins. I do apologize for all the glitches. Hopefully we've gotten those things ironed out. But if you haven't subscribed, I do hope you consider subscribing today and becoming a member of our family. Also, I appreciate it if you gave this uh, video a like and a comment and share it. Until next time, guys, I will talk to you later. Ciao.